Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, so as many of you probably already know, I recently posted a video where I did this guitar project. It was the Galaxy paint job. It's on this left-handed 7-string ESP guitar. And, <clears throat> well, I, I obviously sped it up quite a bit because it takes a while to do a, an airbrush job like this. And I didn't want to bore anybody. However, I got a, quite a few actually requests, both in the comments and private messages, to uh, to see if I could post some real-time footage of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because, I mean, why wouldn't I comply with that? Um, so here we go. I've got some real-time footage here. It's uh, <laughs> you're gonna see me do some boring stuff like like clean the tip of my airbrush real quick and spit paint where it doesn't need to be by accident and nonsense like that, but. This is, yeah, this is how fast, or actually how slow, I should say, I actually do this in real life. I'm not, uh, I'm not the fastest airbrush artist out there. Um, what I'm doing here is just laying the foundation for the Galaxy. If you saw the other video, if you haven't seen the other video, I, I highly recommend you check it out. It is more exciting than this one and faster, and you get to see the image come together real quick. But, yeah, I've got my reference photo set up to the right of me, and I'm just kind of laying in the background because all of my work on this black is being done with white and transparency. White and candy colors, essentially. You can't really just go ahead. I'm, I'm The galaxy ends up blue and purple, pretty much, mostly blue. You can't just go ahead and start spraying blue on the black, or it's really not going to show up. You have to base it in the white. And that's also what gives it that kind of glowing... Uh, deep look is going back and forth pulling pulling items forward with the white so that they look like they're closer to you and then pushing them back into the background with blue and doing it again and again uh, until you get what looks like this nice deep infinite kind of look I also end up going over this with uh, with some pearl at the end to give it some sparkle but in this video because it's real time and I'm trying to avoid you know having you sit there for ages oh, I just spat some paint where it didn't need to go checking my airbrush nozzle there I can just push that back with black afterward but anyway in this video um, I'm just gonna start I'm gonna lay the foundation with the white and we'll come back in the next one and deal with some of the color work so you'll see I'm kinda handling the, tr the airbrush in a very weird way right now what I'm doing is I'm pulling back the trigger uh, releasing it like pulling the needle back without air uh, which causes white paint to glob up on the end of the needle and then I push down on the trigger to give it some air and it spits that paint and that's creating the little stars on there. You can see it's spitting on the side. Well, and there I screwed it up and had uh, air and paint at the same time by accident, but easy to cover up after. Anyway, so I'm spitting paint on there to get the stars. That is not usually how you use an airbrush, as I'm sure you know. Uh, what you do is you keep the air on essentially all the time. The saying goes, air is free, leave it on, um, so that you don't accidentally end up spitting paint like this but in this case that's what I'm aiming for so I'm spitting paint on there um, just in really small specks the closer you get to the piece the bigger they are and trying to get kind of a variety of stars and then I'm going in that's that's over top of my very basic background and then I'm gonna go in here and put in kinda of some tighter work um, to give those star clusters more depth and, and and more body essentially so you'll see me come in here fairly soon if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, this, this video's got a, a little ways to go. I'm going in by hand here, putting kind of brighter areas to um, to symbolize the closer, bigger stars in that cluster because that cluster is obviously supposed to be closer. That's why we see it like that. That's where that uh, section down the middle comes from. And I'm going to put in some bigger stars in that area and kind of, you know, around that general central region of the guitar just to give it some more depth. Airbrush paint dries almost immediately, which is why you see me literally touching the guitar there when I was doing that. Um, the paint's already dry, and I'm using my hand as a spacer because I need to get nice and close to be able to make those really small dots. The closer you are and the less paint you have coming out, the smaller your dots or lines can be. So that's how you get that high detail work, which isn't, isn't super necessary on most of this, but for those small dots it is. Pardon me. So what I'm doing now is, again, I'm, I'm just kind of shooting that those stars on there, and now I'm going to go in with a texture stencil, just something I picked up from a local art shop, and use that to give that area some texture. It doesn't quite... Well, it, it does. It looks pretty darn good when I do it. But uh, even if it didn't, and I, I was expecting it to kind of come out a little strange in this area, 
I am going to push that back again with some blue, and by again I mean for the first time, and then come in again with my airbrush and, uh, and put in the white again and pull some stuff forward. So really, this first layer doesn't have to be exact. I'm still using the reference photo and I'm still getting it nice and close, but it doesn't have to be exact because this is getting pushed back, and really all it's going to do is add some depth. So the more kind of random it looks, the more it's going to give us that galaxy effect that we're really looking for here. So I'm in really tight with the airbrush. I'm kind of pulling some lines. If, if you look at the reference photo, I, I think I used it in the thumbnail. I might post it up real quick at the end here. Um, it has kind of lines of stars in it. So I'm just pulling some, some little lines to give that effect and, uh, and to brighten up some of those areas. And they'll just show up as, as brighter areas in the background after, which would indicate kind of a thicker star cluster or um, you know a deeper one but <clears throat> that's that's science and I'm not at all qualified to comment on that so I don't know why I even said that I do not have a science degree anyway I'm yeah I'm just brightening those things up it doesn't matter if they get a little too bright you don't want to you don't want to get them insanely bright but it doesn't matter if they get a little too bright again we're pushing it back I'm repeating myself because this is uh, this is kind of a monotonous video of me just doing this. I apologize for that, but that's what real time ends up as. In the next ones, what I'll do is I'll just uh, throw on some background music and you can watch me spray back and forth from blue to white a couple times until we get the finished product we're looking for. So I can probably probably show you this in another video or two. Uh, two or three total is what I'm predicting. And uh, that's that's basically all it'll be is is that stuff and then we'll uh, we'll put in the the rest of the graphic at the bottom I you actually see me testing my airbrush there on the bottom because I know I'm gonna have to paint that white to bring it forward for the sunset effect that we have in that area when all said and done so there is some fairly tight work with the airbrush on this galaxy nothing too crazy it's not like I'm trying to paint eyelashes on a photo or something like that which is why I'm just using an airbrush with a 0.35 nozzle. I'm not going in there with anything, you know, too ridiculous like my 0.15. Um, and then I'm just misting some stuff around the edge again to give it some depth because those areas will come out blue. Otherwise, they'd just be straight black. So that's it. We'll come back next video and do the color work. Uh, here's just a quick look at kind of what the inspiration was for this image. So that's the reference I'm using. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.